the Kennedy years, 1960 to 63. Let every nation know that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe, to assure the survival and success of liberty. Kennedy's inaugural speech, January 1961. The political situation in South Vietnam. The growing unpopularity of the Diem regime was an essential part of the problem. To some writers, he appears to be simply a US stooge, a puppet being played by the United States. But in reality, he was anything but stubborn, arrogant and distrustful of all but his family. He often failed to take proffered advice from the American representatives in Vietnam and treated them to interminable lectures on how right he was. Power remained simply with his re relatives. Reforms under Diem came too little too late. He embarked on a policy of agrovilles, uprooting peasants from their villages and herding them into new rural towns where, in theory, they could enjoy the benefits of education and welfare. In reality, such moves were resented as peasants had to leave their traditional lands and the graves of their parents and ancestors. Vietnam had a culture which felt a very deep reverence and respect for past family members. The Buddhist majority of the population were treated with contempt and the Catholic minority openly favoured. In 1959, Diem had a dedica dedicated the Republic of Vietnam to the Virgin Mary, not the most tactful or politically sensitive of gestures to an overwhelmingly Buddhist country. It was during the Kennedy presidency that Vietnam became far more important. There can be no doubt that the Kennedy presidency saw an increased commitment to South Vietnam. Kennedy's early ideas about Vietnam. By the time Kennedy, who was a Democrat, became president in 1961, his ideas on Vietnam had already been shaped. Kennedy's Catholic family loathed communism. As a young Democrat congressman, Kennedy believed that the expansion of communism must be contained by America. Like most Americans, Kennedy believed in Eisenhower's domino theory. Kennedy's inaugural address when he became president was entirely devoted to foreign policy. It contained the inspirational and now famous phrase, let every nation know whether it wishes us or wishes us ill, we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foes to assure the survival and success of liberty. In some ways, Kennedy was a prisoner of his own Cold War campaign. Kennedy was also particularly sensitive about references to his youth and inexperience. This made him keen to be assertive in foreign affairs. Kennedy's eagerness to get things moving made him impatient. U.S. commitment to Vietnam remained, but the Secretary of Defense's solutions to the problems in that faraway land were always military, an emphasis which proved unhelpful. There was never a focus on a political solution. 